everybody. Today we are going to be talking about October already. Can you believe this? Time goes so fast. In fact, I remember vividly we were just talking about the Uranus Pluto square in for April. Oh well, now we're gonna be talking about again the same thing for October. October 2014. Two eclipse occurrences. The first one is the total lunar eclipse in a, one of the fire signs, Aries, on October 8, and then the partial solar eclipse in the water sign, Scorpio, on October 23rd. So, shakeups. September is, you know, the nice month because I'm still filming in September. But let's prepare for October. Shakeups. Changes. Whatever you didn't like to change on your own, it may happen suddenly. So, for example, you're sitting in an apartment watching TV, eating your favorite meal, the landlord knocking on the door, uh, it's time to move out for whatever reason. Now, some of the signs are very easy go with the flow, always ready for a change. And that's perfect because this year is all about changes. The more easy we are to face the change, the easier it's going to be for us. The ones that are fixed, stubborn, no, I don't like change. I like just the way it is. Of course, it's going to be the worst, the hardest to accept. But let's remember about one thing. Whatever is happening in October, at the end is good for us. Whatever we didn't like to do, the universe will take care of it. Its own way. In many ways, in a wonderful way. The money may suddenly come. Um, the insurance money will pay out. The money will come from totally, maybe even inheritance, from totally unexpected places. That's Uranus, the surprise. And Pluto likes to end, but ends to end things just to have a new beginning because you cannot have a new beginning and if you do without ending the old you're really not going anywhere you you keeping yourself a hostage so the universe wants to help you and say hey forget the old let's go with the new okay so it's for your own good so don't be stubborn okay oh if that wasn't um enough what I already said, then Mercury will retrograde the whole month. Let's call a horse a horse in a horse year because it's from October 4th to 25th, but really takes days before and days after. So the whole October, we're going to be in a fog. Ooh, what? I have to leave? What? A judgment? What this? What that? And besides, the worst time to sign contracts when you're traveling check your itinerary a couple times, call um, the airport to, or airlines to make sure that the plane is flying on time. Just be prepared. Once you know what may happen and you got to be extra careful and give extra time and read the small print first actually before you read the huge print with the magnifying glass, and ask many questions and make many phone calls, yeah, it's a little tougher. Back up your uh, computer now. Don't wait until it will crash, okay, until something bad happens. You know, you still have time. That's why I'm doing this video a little earlier, for you to be prepared. That October 1st is coming, you prepare. Okay. Grace said, that's what's going to happen. I better do my little steps and everything to make sure that all the changes and all the surprises 
will be not that bad for me. Okay. Now look at changes. I changed my hair did. Just going with the flow, hey. Why not? New hair, the new attitude, the new me. Whatever that means for anybody. You look in the closet, what a perfect time. Hey, that's not me. Throw it out. Give away. Give away to those who need. Sell it. Do whatever you need to do. But update yourself. And if you can upgrade, go to the seminars, do something, learn something. That's what a good time uh, for in October. Okay. I was actually fighting in my mind if to do the reading any different way, but I'm going to stay what I did with what I did last month. So for every sign, three cards. And we're going to start with the fire signs and then air signs after earth and water and earth and water I'm going to put in a separate um, in a separate video for a little more time for all of you okay not to speed up too much so I prepare for the changes on the last note about the month um, spend as much time as you can in the nature fresh air oxygen is very important Lots of water. Drink as much water as you can to flush out the toxins. Get out of the toxic relationships, toxic situations. Either it's a job, environment, whatever that is. Um, play with your animals or kids. Super. Okay, Because then you are in the moment. You enjoy what it is. Forget the past. Don't worry too much about the future. Because the future when you're happy now, that's how you're creating the future, based on happiness and something positive, okay? All right, my dear fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarians. Um, let's start with Aries. And going with Aries, going to the fairies. Cool. Okay. And Leo... And Sagittarius. Now I think we're gonna go to the tarot. Tarot. Angel tarot cards. And let's see what is here. Then I will do for yeah, let's do for all of you, okay? Because okay, that's interesting. And for Sagittarius, for some strange reason, the heart. Mm. Okay, let's see what we have for you, Aries. And let's remember the uh, total lunar eclipse on October 8th is in your sign, okay? In the fire sign, action, Aries, impatient, speed up. Express your individuality. So don't hide anymore. Show who you really are. Show your true colors. Be creative. And whatever the decisions you need to make, make it. Allow your true self to shine because you are awesome, Aries. Okay, so it's a nice green light for you on this day. Seven of, on, in this month, October, seven of war, a complex decision. They need to do research. Stop procrastinating so obviously again you've been holding your back holding yourself back uh, you didn't do something that you should do oh stop waiting and start doing something about it okay like for example research is a first good step strength face your fear every challenge is a blessing in disguise a gift that makes us stronger more conscious and ultimately more alive so obviously, for sure, looking at these cards, I see that you definitely didn't do something because you've been like, maybe it's not the right time. Maybe I'm not ready. Maybe you this, maybe that. And the angels in three cards for October, with all the chaos in October, they're showing you that for you the message is stop waiting. 
and start doing something, even research. Show your true self. Shine. It's your time. Be yourself. Okay? Very strong. Wow. So many Aries people have to come out and uh, show the world who they are. Uh, Leos, beautiful Leos, healing, healed, and healer. Wonderful. Some healing energy surrounds you at this time, which means you most likely, many of you, need healing. Okay, it's good also to visit a healer when this sh uh, card shows. Maybe you need some healing energy and ask Archangel Raphael to heal you in certain ways. The moon. Oh, you're going to get more psychic insights. Um, it's um, obviously many events going on behind um, the scenes. Many things you don't know about. Um, but whatever fears that you have and you hold it, you're afraid of this, you're not sure about that, release them. Let them go. Because everything... It is the way it should be. And listen to your intuition. Do not listen to the other people. Listen to your inner guidance. My dear lions and lionesses, okay? When it comes to the grace cards, silence. Be still. A daily practice of silence bears gifts. The sensitivity of beauty, deep inner peace, and profound feeling of connectedness to all living things. So, with all this talk, and, uh, and, and Elios are famous of being social, and uh, love gatherings, love family, friends, love to talk, and love, and that's all good. But it says that, you know, this month in October, you're gonna need some healing, Sometimes spent alone a meditation, kind of going inwards. Why? Because you need to find out who you are and what is good for you and what you want, desire, and deserve. So it's all about you this month, not the whole chaotic. October people going all over the place okay it's all about serenity and silence interesting Sagittarians my beautiful Sagittarians uh, spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power so it shows that you many of you are natural healers and to increase the healing power spending times again in the nature around the flowers um, is good to um, spray something in the air that is herbal and smells good the flowers perhaps that you really like you like orchids go for orchids you like roses it's okay with roses or lavender but spend time if you can in the nature smelling the roses for example Literally, okay, because that will increase your spiritual uh, healing or healing power. Nine of Earth, enjoying life's little luxury, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employing. So if you are self-employed, it's going to be good. For you, it's going to be good. It may even expand, okay? No worries, as they say in Hawaii. Enjoy life's little luxury. So little here, little there. Um, don't, oh my God, it's going to be so bad, what I'm going to do, no, spend some time alone, again, because it's going to be so much chaos, and you are a fire sign, and yes, the lunar eclipse is going to be in the fire, so it's going to fire up many people, it's going to be probably much craziness there, spend time alone, meditating. Um, the last card, I'm sorry, the romantic card for you, dear Sagittarians, 
you have already met the romantic partner you see this could be the one so if you recently met somebody dear Sagittarians and you wondering is this the one or not usually to be honest with you if you start to wonder if this is the one or not I would say it's rather not because when it, this is really the one and your intuition is strong unless it's not at all and you don't listen to it and you don't even believe it that's another story but if you trust your intuition right away you will know if that's the one or not but in case you're wondering yes this could be the one very good we're going to the air signs Gemini Libra and Aquarius Okay, we're gonna give one of those two the angel tarot card three times three is a charm okay very good then we're gonna go to archangel michael wrong with this okay everything is has where wherever the inner the intention goes the energy flows that's what I wanted to say um, so you cannot go wrong okay let's see for you dear air signs so starting um, right off the bat with Gemini okay Gemini. Justice, pay attention to your dreams and wait. <sighs> Justice. So either you're gonna literally have something to do with the uh, courts, lawyers, trials, paperwork, insurance, paid out, something legal, divorce maybe, Whatever is going to be going on is um, so you know it's going to be fair and just decision done, okay? Uh, do what you know is right, stand up for your beliefs. That's what this card says. So stand up for what you believe. Either it comes to money, property, court case, whatever the situation calls for do what's right do what's right not what makes feel good and easy just what is right what you think is right okay stand up for justice stand up for the beliefs your beliefs pay attention to your dreams it means that many uh, answers may come in your dreams so don't disregard them write them down and pay attention to them because your higher self the universe is speaking to you through your dreams and if you don't remember don't panic pray to the angels to remember them and for them to come but if you don't don't worry it's already infused into your psyche you will know the answers anyway don't rush into action right now bite your bite your time for better results which means don't rush okay when everything is gonna go crazy and quickly just slow down and wait let this craziness pass by so don't make too many decisions in October if you can besides that Mercury retrograde I would wait if you can of course um, then wait when it comes to Libra the high priestess favorable outcome and make a decision so for you it says first of all my dear Libra listen to your intuition because it's gonna be right in October have patience consider carefully what you want before acting so this is important because you know the when we in a rush we, we make mistakes and angels are saying Archangel Hanimal is saying listen to your intuition know what you really want okay 
and have patience. Archangel Michael shows that whatever you've been dealing with in October will be a favorable outcome. So something good is coming for you, dear Libra. Okay, something you've been waiting for, something that you were uncertain about, something was up in the air. It's going to have a good outcome for you. Wonderful. Feeling stuck or indecisive? Listen to your intuition and make a decision. Two cards. In three cards, spread. Listen to your intuition. We're talking about Librans, I think, for the whole year of 2014. And I remember was about the spiritual growth. That this year, more than ever, you're going to start to listen to your intuition. And you're going to make decisions based on your intuition. And this time, the angel's absolutely calling. Like a beam of a red light. Listen to your own inner guidance and make decisions make them don't sit on the fence anymore make a decision based on your own intuition I you know I cannot say enough the whole year story right and Aquarius nine of air focus upon divine and perfect health and healing heart. Nine of air is kind of, guys, um, watch out for being pessimistic. Watch out not to have negative thoughts because it says expecting the war self fulfilling prophecies in sleepless nights. So you're worrying about something, and as an air sign, you are a thinker, you, you, you talker and thinker. So, you're worrying about things. You have fears. You may not even sleep because of them. Well, oh, stop doing it. Because that's exactly what will happen. That's your reality. That's your life that you're building for yourself. Do you really want that? Of course not. So stop it. What you should focus upon is divine and perfect health. So if you have any health issues, at this time. Think about the best. Think about a good outcome. Think about health. In fact, don't think about anything. Just enjoy life. And see the light instead of thinking about something bad altogether, including illness. We are really making our own reality. So whatever you focus on is like the intentions. Wherever that focus intention goes, the energy flows. And guess what? Everything is energy. So we creating our own nightmares. Stop it. Hey, you are a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. So not just that you, um, you may need some healer because your health is a little off. But you are a healer yourself, my dear Aquarius. That's what the angel is saying. Remember that. You're not to think about the worst. You are about to think about healing not just yourself, but also maybe going to uh, some schools, some taking seminars to become a healer, which is wonderful. And before I go to the next signs, love you all and see you next month.